Anyways, let's see how this power boost punches. I've driven three power boosts today, this is crazy. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we're gonna be going over what is quite possibly the coolest Lariat you can get. This one has the black appearance package. Before we get this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Kengar Ford here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can see what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Kellen. And then on a side note, if you can save time and money the next time purchase car, link to my carbine guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's also paired to a hybrid system with this particular truck, it's called the Power Boost. It is good for 430 horsepower and then 570 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 23 around town and then 23 on the highway. Now before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, you guys can see this carbonized gray, and then you can also see the cool venting on the hood with this particular package. And then popping down below, you guys can see we've got the upgraded LED headlamps with the daytime running lights, and then notice how the grill is all blacked out. You got the Ford logo this dark with the camera below the Ford logo, body painted bumper with the parking sensors, you got fog lights, tow hooks, I mean it has everything. And seriously, just look at this truck, it is cool. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see how the wheel is all blacked out with this package. Kind of just another cool thing. Notice our F-150 Lariat badge, blacked out. Power Boost badge, also blacked out. And then you have body painted mirrors and door handles. And now you guys can see you got the fixed side steps right there. The 4x4 decal in the back is also blacked out. And yeah, I mean, this truck just looks so sporty. So here is our key fob for the Lariat. You guys can see we've got the unlock function, the lock function, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. Just press that a couple times and it'll pop right down. Now we have a payload capacity of 1,450 pounds. You guys can see the whole like measuring chart set up here on the tailgate. LED lights here, we have the Pro Power on board as well. And then you can see the LED light there on the other side. Uh, no bed liner though. We got Ford's tailgate step system and then I can press that button and it'll raise the tailgate right back up. We got these fancy LED taillights here. Notice how it's kind of like blacked out there on the side. And then notice the F-150 that's stamped on the bed, also blacked out with the darker Ford logo. Parking sensors there at the bottom. And in terms of towing capacity, this has the max tow package, so around 12-ish thousand pounds. And yeah, putting this all together, it is such a cool looking pickup truck. Now here's a quick look at the door panel you guys can see with the material it's kind of like darker in coloration than down below I really like the padding you've got the metallic gray trim right here which i think looks really good and then look at the storage space right there and then i guess more metallic gray trim and then speak for the bang and olsen sound system and yeah tons of storage so we've got these all blacked out seats here as part of this lariat package you know it's perforated in the center and then got storage space underneath now legroom is really solid back here we've got a little storage pocket we got some cup holders here, heated seats in the back with some vents and outlets as well. And then headroom's also solid. And cup holder armrest. Now here's the front door panel. You guys can see again with the darker trim and then all of our window controls front two are automatic. We got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. And then you got your memory seat function right there. Blind spot monitoring for the mirrors and there she is. Now with the front seat, it's got a really nice leather trim. Notice perforated all down the center portion. We do have our power adjustments here on the side of the lumbar. We've got our pedal adjustment here. This is for the parking brake, your light controls. Those are the mirror lights. That's actually your gas cap, or at least right there. And then you can see the tailgate drop down function and steering wheel is power adjustable. And look at the flag, how it's also darkened. So here is the steering wheel. You guys can see really nice little trim all around. You got the stitching there in the center and then notice kind of like the metallic gray trim at the bottom. Bunch of controls here for the center stack. You do have your adaptive cruise control on the other side. This also does come with Ford's Blue Cruise system. And then we have our turn signal windshield wiper stock. Full digital gauge cluster here in the center and then we can scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info on the truck. But with my F-150, I would just leave it on the my view mode. But we've got a bunch of different drive modes we can go through. Um, the big one, right, we got our sport mode. You also have an eco, which I think is important for the power boost. You got a tow haul, normal, and then you can see like the inclement driving slash off-road modes there on the other part. Now we've got this for the Pro Power on board, and then you guys can see for the camera system, parking assist, hazard lights, and then stability control. Now this truck being loaded up does have the full 360 camera system, which I'm a huge fan of in this 12 inch display because like the viewpoint is just 
absolutely enormous. And I mean, this is exactly uh, what you'd want with a pickup truck. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, you guys can see the shortcut bar here at the bottom, and then I'll see a little auxiliary screen off to the side, and this is letting us know our eco behavior, so I'll, I'll leave that up for a moment. Um, but if you pop over in the features tab, that lets you access stuff for like the pro power and board, so you can see that, and then also you can see the power flow here. So right now, we guess we are feeding the battery. We got our pro trailer assist. Trailer brake controls down below and then a drive line select. This does have two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel auto, and then four wheel low. Notice the axle lock there in the center and then you just twist this for your drive mode select. Analog controls for the radio and the climate system. This does have a dual zone climate system with heated and cooled seats and a heated steering wheel. Got some more of that nice uh, gray trim here which covers up the wireless phone charging pad and some USBs. And look at like the gray trim here on the side. Shifter for that 10 speed automatic. It does have a manual shift function there on the side. And that's what that M button is for. And then a couple of cup holders. We got the workbench center console right here, which has tons of storage space, by the way. And then we got our dual glove box set up here. Notice the gray, the gray trim there on the front. And then you guys can see kind of like the silvery gray trim down below and then i do like the leather here on the dash also dark now up top we do have a power sliding rear window always a nice feature to have and then a full panoramic sunroof in this truck now this is a 502a equipment group truck and then you guys can see all of the equipment on this one this one is uh pretty dang loaded up total msrp 76,575, and do 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 let's see how it drives Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Oh, setting off in this Lariat. And well, the first thing that I want to say is good luck to that person that just got into that Tacoma for getting out because this, <laughs> this big truck that's right behind them, like, yeah, that's going to be a tight squeeze. That is for sure. I mean, it's tight squeeze for me right here. Jeez, man, look at that. Well, I guess you guys can see that parking lot maneuverability of with the uh, F-150 is actually pretty good, right? Um, but anyways, as I was saying, um, I really like this package a lot. Well, the reason I really like this package is I feel like this bridges the gap between like a Raptor and then something like a Tremor and then also just like a regular F-150. So what I mean is, you know, a lot of people buy the Raptor because it looks really cool. But then, you know, Raptor prices are pretty high. So then people go, okay, well, I'll buy a Tremor. And well, Tremor prices are, you know, close to this uh, but they are kind of hard to uh, come by it seems like they're pretty much always sold out and so this kind of is more of i guess like a half medium where it's the availability is a little bit better but then it's also you know more affordable than a raptor on average and if you're frankly not going to take the truck off road this is also going to be the one you want to go for because the on-road tires are going to be better for fuel economy power boost better for fuel economy um, and, and it also just frankly is going to make it so it rides a little bit better because it's more of a street setup so yeah that was a little weird spiel, but you know what? This is my review, so uh, we'll, we'll go with it. Anyways, let's see how this power boost punches. I've driven three power boosts today. This is crazy. <laughs> Still fast. Um, I, I don't know why, like the trucks that I picked out, I didn't pick them out because they had the power boost powertrain. It just happened to be that way because of the other options that they had. So it's kind of funny. Um, I guess that there's just a lot of power boosts lately. Um, yeah, it, it's quick, but what you do need to know is the regular EcoBoost feels at least um, from uh, the seat about as quick as this. Like there's not really any uh, difference in terms of acceleration. Now, obviously there's gonna be the fuel economy difference. The pro power on board is also really attractive. And so, you know, maybe those things will kind of make you lean a little bit more towards the power boost. But if you're just looking for acceleration, I don't think that the power boost is going to be the route to go. So to sum things up here with this truck, this thing looks amazing. Um, it's got all the right options. And I think that if I wasn't, you know, an off-road enthusiast like I am, this is probably the F-150 that I go for because I think that a limited, limited and the Platinum are a little bit too bougie for me. Like I don't need all the luxury features those have, but I still like me being me, I still want a cool sporty looking truck. And so this kind of provides the luxury truck experience and the cool sporty looks. Let me know what you think about it. That's good. Something's up with our video on this Lariat. And again, huge shout out and thank you to the Ken Gar Ford here in American Fork, Utah. Ford gave me some time with this truck. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Ask for Kellen if you have any questions. I'll see ya.